welcome back. It's so good to be back with all of you. I did take last week off from doing this little budging video because um, I was dealing with sickness going throughout my family. We've been sick for the past couple of weeks. You know, one person gets it, then the next, then the next. So we are finally through being sick, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed. So I thought I would love to just jump back into it, get our budget back on track, and uh, hopefully motivate you to do your budget as well. So let's just go ahead and start off, just try to make this a little quick for you. Um, I tend to jabber on too much, so I try to <laughs> keep it going and not just sit here and talk for too long. So for this week of the 14th of March, I had $537.26 that I made. And so for bills, which I don't have a binder for, thank you, I can't think of the word, I don't have a binder for, I put $392.26 into my bills. So with that being said, let's just get straight into the fun stuff. So this is my cash envelopes and I have $52 in these, in this particular one. Um, I already used my grocery money so I don't have it in here, but going off of that, let's see here, date is getting $10. I used up a lot of our grocery money last week um, since we were home more, being ill, and we also ate out a little bit more than we probably should have, but you know, it is what it is. I try not to be too, too hard on myself when we eat out a lot. So date got 10, and then personal, which is just my fun money, is going to get three. Haven't decided what I'm spending this on yet, um, but I know I will want it at some point. Gas is getting 20. How is everyone doing with gas? Have you had to really change your budget too much? I know for me, gas has gone up so much. Normally it takes me like $20 to fill up my gas. And uh, like last week when I filled it up, it was like 35, almost $40. It was, it's just getting crazy here. Oh, and then here is my change, my little change jar. I just keep all my change. Ooh, excuse me there. Um, I just keep all my change in the back here and use it for everything. And then at the end of the week, add it to my change jar as well as receipts that's what that says I don't know if you can see that that just says receipts I keep all my receipts there I use them for like cash back rebate things and stuff like that so this is my wallet all good to go let me put that over there and then get started on other things this says sinking funds but I still have some of my cash budget or cash envelopes in here simply because I don't need to carry them every day like this one my clothes I don't need that on a day-to-day -day basis so clothes is getting four I do probably need to go get some new clothes soon, um, or at the very least my boyfriend does. He has, he kind of wears his clothes until they start falling apart, um, <laughs> and they're starting to fall apart. Pedicures is getting four. So how is everyone's March going for you? I am loving the spring weather, though I wish it would stay consistent. It has really been like hot, cold, hot, cold, and I'm kind of ready for it to just be nice temperatures all the way around. Toiletries is getting six. I don't know if that's happening where you are. Like we had snow on Saturday and then today is like a balmy 70, 80 degrees. So the weather needs to make up its mind is all I'm saying. So toiletries got six and then home decor is getting five. I do have little spots to like tally up how much I have you know, so I would like take out all of this, tally it up and put, write it there. But um, I felt like that made the video too long in my opinion. So I may just do that like uh, once a once a month, just kind of tally up, see how much I have in there uh, for the video purposes. I do this after the video each week, but um, I don't know. I just, I don't want my videos to be very long, if that makes sense. Like you have things to do with your life. You don't need to be watching me attempt to do math, I guess. <laughs> So now we're getting to the actual sinking funds, which I have 73 in this. Car maintenance is getting six. I did just get uh, an oil change today, so I need to take some money out of this to pay me back because I put it on my credit card. Uh, retirement is getting six. So we're skipping debt snowball. And then retirement's getting six. I don't know if you do that, but I tend to put things on my credit card and then afterwards pay myself back from this. So that way I kind of get cash back points um with my credit card and still be able to do a cash budget let's see Seth's apartment is getting five um we're just saving up for my boyfriend when he does clinicals for his physical therapy grad school which is starting um this summer i think 
and then emergency is getting three. I already have a thousand dollars emergency fund, but I would like more. Ideally, I would like two to three months worth of utilities and rent and all of that, but we are not there yet. So emergency. So this is sinking funds one down and now we are on to the second one. So this is kind of starting um, more long-term things. I mean, uh, more things that I don't need to have. Whereas like car maintenance and registration, I know I have registration every year, but you know, like birthday money, that's not necessarily a necessity, but I like it if I have extra money to put some into it. So health is getting two. This is just for when we're sick, which we did use um, a good bit of it, but there's still a little bit in there. Subscriptions is getting seven. This is just for like monthly or, you know, quarterly subscriptions I have to things um, to pay for that. Let's see. Birthdays is getting eight. I haven't been completely consistent on how much I want to put into birthdays and Christmas, but I, ideally I would like to bulk these up a little bit more. Holidays is getting four. I think I'm going to save and maybe buy something for like 4th of July, maybe some like fireworks or things to grill out. Um, we always try to enjoy celebrating 4th of July. And tea is getting three. I am going to my sister's baby shower next month, I think. So um, I would probably use that. Okay, so I don't have anything in business. Christmas is getting 12. I think I skipped a week here, and so I may need to start putting some more back into Christmas. Anniversary is getting two. We celebrated our anniversary last month, so there's not much in here, but you know, you gotta get started for next year. Vacay is not getting anything, unfortunately. And now we're on to this one. The last sinking funds group here, as well as challenges. So new glasses doesn't get anything. New car is getting four. My car is very old. Wow, I said that word. My car is very old. I said that so oddly. Um, it's from 2006, so I'm just trying to start saving now because I know eventually I'm going to need a new car. Future pet is getting three. I'm thinking about doing a cash unstuffing at the end of the month, um, but I'm not sure if that's something you would all be interested in. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you would like to see a low income cash unstuffing. I feel like it's not as cool as other people simply because I don't have a lot of money, um, but it, you know, it could still be a fun thing for us to do. And I don't know, I, fi I personally find cash unstuffing videos aesthetically pleasing, which if you don't know, that's when you go through and you see like, if you have 10 ones, you then change it out for 10 to have less bills in here. Um, I don't know. I find them fun. Not everyone does. So just let me know if that's something you, you all may be interested in. Future baby is getting two. We are not pregnant. We have no intentions to be anytime soon, but babies be expensive. So we're saving now. Let's see. Weddings getting three. Drop that. I did do this correctly. Awesome. So future wedding is getting three. And Disney is getting three as well. We're hoping to go to Disney in maybe two years, but we'll see. And then the challenge I'm doing is the $40 monthly. Um, I try to save $10 a week. Since I missed last week, I went ahead and got a 20 to try to um, get us back on track here a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm trying to save $40 a month for a little savings challenge. And then at the end of the year, I could put all that towards something. I'm thinking like get ahead on bills by a month. I think that would be really nice, but we will see. And then I didn't have any ones or fives that I wanted to take out for these little challenges. So let me put that back over there. So that is everything for this week. I hope you had a lovely time watching this and that inspired you to do your budget as well. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your week and I will see you next week.